Hey everyone, it's a Thursday morning here in Dallas, a little bit overcast today, seems like it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit cooler today, but perhaps not much. Um, I was uh, just thinking about this earlier when I was having my coffee. The main thing that full press seem to be confused about is, you know, what age we're in. Um, you know, you hear a lot of talk today about, uh, you know, the mosaic age, uh, you know, ending in A.D. 70, and that's fine, that's fine. But then what they do is they confuse the, the mosaic age with the Adamic age. Um, and there's a lot of indicators in Scripture, in the New Testament especially, that speak of salvation being related uh, to the Adamic age. Uh, you know, uh, Galatians uh, chapter 1, verses 4, for instance, where uh, Paul said that, you know, he's delivering us out of this present evil age. Uh, well, that's the Adamic age. That's not the Mosaic age. Um, you know, Matthew, Matthew chapter 13 is another example where he talks about uh, you know, in the parable of the sower, you know, the seed that was sown among the thorns, you know, the cares of this age, you know, choked the word that it became unfruitful. He was talking about the Adamic age, not the, not the Mosaic age. Well, the full preterists at some level, they start to teach that, um, you know, that the Mosaic age, or actually the Adamic age was somehow incorporated into the Mosaic age, and so that when the Mosaic age ended, all those Adamic things ended, and then we were somehow transported into the age to come. But that's really not what Scripture teaches. Um, the scripture teaches that salvation is a, uh, is a process that's going to go on uh, past the destruction of Jerusalem, you know, like the wedding, uh, the wedding supper, that parable where you know the um, the city's destroyed, and then then the invitation is renewed, but it's renewed to the Gentiles. Um, you know, salvation's still going on. People are still being delivered. People are still being delivered from this present evil age. Um, you know, theoretically, I think. A lot of full preterists, what they're doing is they're taking that furniture from the mosaic economy. Um, you know, after after falsely uh, falsely um, placing it under the mosaic economy, what they're doing is they're taking that furniture and they're trying that paraphernalia, and then they're trying to carry it over into the uh, into the new heavens and new earth. Um, but but the thing is, if all that was mosaic then that stuff ended in A.D. 70. So you can't really say that it that it's still going on today. That's what I'm talking about, the confusion, where they get it wrong. They can't distinguish between the Mosaic Age and the Adamic Age. You know, salvation was promised. It goes all the way back to Genesis chapter 3. It was promised in the garden. And it has to do with the Adamic Age. You know, the restitution of all things uh, spoken of by the pro by the prophets, uh, as Peter mentions in um, you know Acts chapter three, you know the restitution of all things that that looks all the way back to Genesis. That doesn't that doesn't have anything to do with necessarily with with Moses. You know the Mosaic age, um, and I'll grant you I'll grant you that the Mosaic age probably ended in A.D. seventy, and that was when the um, the new the new covenant the gospel age began. Uh, or actually, that's when the gospel age was fully established, rather. Um, and then, of course, uh, of course, Jesus Christ's teachings are, are are paramount in this dispensation, just as just as Moses's teachings were paramount under the old dispensation. But the fact of the matter is, salvation is still an ongoing work. You know, the the uh, ministry of the Holy Spirit is still an ongoing work. You know. Uh, the presence of Christ in his church is still ongoing. None of these things ended. None of the, none of the, the salvific indicators, uh, you know, the things that we associate with, with Christian salvation, none of those things ended in AD 70. So first thing you got to do is when you come to that word aeon, uh, you know, meaning age, uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to, you have to read it in context. Because that's going to tell you what he's talking about, uh, what the writers are talking about, whether they're talking about the Mosaic Age or the Adamic Age. And I don't have a lot of time to go into it in real detail, but just wanted to bring that quick point out. I'll try to do another podcast later today. Um, i got to go back in and uh, take care of some laundry, get it out on the line, uh, and uh, do some other things. 
but I'll try to come back later and try to get get more into it. But that's really the main area where the hyper uh, full preterists get confused about what age we're living in. And of course, the failure to make the distinction between the Mosaic Age and the Adamic Age leads to all kinds of confusions and uh, inconsistencies. So, be back later. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye.